5 per cent. So this is a big problem for our country. So given the value of Minus 18's work and the work of the Safe Schools Coalition, you can imagine my horror when I saw that the Australian Christian Lobby has been advocating for the Safe Schools Coalition to be axed because apparently it's damaging to students. Apparently it teaches kids gay and lesbian techniques. That's a quote from the ACL in the Sydney Morning Herald. Now, Mr Acting Deputy President, I am reluctant to give these kind of absurd views any more airtime, but I do believe that sunlight is the best disinfectant. And I do believe that the ACL should be held to account for the homophobia they, they fan within our community. They should be held to account for the brazen lies they tell and the misinformation that they spread. Now, despite their name, of course we know that the ACL don't represent Christians in this country. Indeed, a vast majority of Australian Christians reject their worldview. So they're completely unrepresentative. They're simply a fringe group, an extreme fringe group, that promotes a worldview that is dangerous and divisive. Now, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that the ACL have taken aim at an organisation that seeks to combat bullying given they promote sexism, homophobia and transphobia, the very currency of bullies. That's their stock and trade. That's the business model of the ACL. But let me address this suggestion that the Safe Schools Coalition somehow promotes homosexuality. I'm really intrigued by this idea that simply by talking about being gay or talking about difference, you're going to convert people as if it's something that you can catch. Well, you know, I've spent my whole life being exposed to heterosexuality. Indeed, we live in a heteronormative society. In fact, it seems you can't uh, turn on the TV or read a magazine without being exposed to images of rampant heterosexuality <laughs> everywhere I look. You know, straight couples holding hands, straight couples getting married. You know, I was walking through the streets of Adelaide the other day, Mr Acting Deputy President, and I saw a straight couple kissing in broad daylight, kissing on the side of the street. They're on a recruitment drive, you know. They're on a recruitment drive. I think they want to sign me up. They haven't had any luck yet. What an absolute nonsense this is. What a nonsense this is, but this is the kind of ridiculous logic that underpins the ACL's criticism here, and this is the kind of contribution they make to the national discourse. Now, you know, next they might come out with something that says that gay marriage is as damaging as smoking. Oh, wait a minute. They've made that claim. Wait, that's a comment they made back in 2012, a ridiculous, offensive contribution to the national debate, brazen lies and homophobia from the ACL. That's the contribution they make to the national debate, homophobia and transphobia. In a world that's rocked by poverty and injustice, one might ask why the ACL refused to use their resources to campaign and, and work on something that's actually meaningful something that might actually make a positive contribution. War, poverty, famine, climate change, social inequality, so much injustice in this world. If the ACL want to take on moral decay, maybe they should start there. Maybe they should look at those moral challenges rather than obsessing over the gay and lesbian and transgender community in this country. Mr Acting Deputy President, the really reckless and divisive comments of the ACL the reckless and divisive homophobia, the brazen lies and misinformation they spread, it's a complete and important reminder of the, uh, the reason why the work of the Safe Schools Coalition is so important. It's a reminder of the, uh, the reason why the work of Minus 18 is so important. Because for as long as there is prejudice and discrimination in this world, we do need good people to come together and try to bring about positive change. And I commend the volunteers of Minus 18 and Safe Schools Coalition for doing this really important work. I am tremendously proud of the young people that are doing this good work. I have no doubt that they're changing lives for the better in this country and making our country a more safe and inclusive place. And uh, that's certainly a great thing. Thank you.